the back. Barlow taking it short. This is Holden. He can deliver a beautiful cross, and that wasn't a bad one either. And the goalkeeper's lost it. And Brown follows up to make absolutely sure. And with ten minutes gone, Holden take the lead. And a goal scored as far as Scarborough are concerned in the most unfortunate of circumstances. Holden playing the ball in, completely missed by the defender and then also by the goalkeeper who seemed to have it, but will never score an easier goal. Neil Adams, who came here for £100,000 from Everton in the uh, close season, playing, remember, tonight because Roger Palmer is injured, with the kick. It's a dangerous one as well. Oh, it's in! And would you believe it? Bunn has got another. Two goals in the space of eight minutes for Frank Bunn and Oldham have a two-goal lead. The corner presenting all the problems. Frank Bunn came in unmarked from the far post and the header was simplicity itself. And once again, Bunn presented with a gift goal. This is Barlow. Good looking ball as well. Richie trying to get in here behind Richards and he's done so. Good goalkeeping. Holden gets the ball back in though. And there's Bunn again. He's got a hat trick. A hat trick in the space of 20 minutes for Frank Bunn. Well, that will have them looking through the record books. Three goals in 20 minutes. Holden win it back, Milligan through. Now, Richie is unmarked in the middle here. Bunn going alone for the moment. And it wasn't a bad decision, was it? He's turning it into his own private party. Frank Bunn gets his fourth goal of the night. And there's still ten minutes of the first half left. Astonishing solo performance. And there's the name again. But it will be eventually Frankie Bunn. Amazing. Well, that breakaway saw Bunn and Ritchie both in a position in which they could have scored, but Bunn's got the scent for goal tonight. He wasn't going to give it to anybody else. 4 0, and all of them have been scored by Frank Bunn. And he must be on his way to some kind of record. Richie was in quickly, this is Milligan, and plenty of space on the left here for Adams. Scarborough being pulled apart at the moment. Irwin, Bunn, who else is in the middle, and sneaking in, he's there again! I don't believe this! He's got five goals! Well, this is an astonishing performance by Frank Bunn, who has scored all Oldham goals. That was a smashing ball in, and he, yet again, was the quickest of all to react. Irwin with the cross from the right, and Bunn's position, sense and speed, immaculate. Picked on by Bunn, Ritchie! forgive me that was the best goal of the night and Frank Bunn inevitably played a part in it with the downward header Richie let it turn whack 6-0 Andy Richie Holden beaten by Kamara then turned on by Milligan Barlow a lot of players for him to look for in the middle here Bun. He's done it! It's the record! Frank Bunn gets his sixth goal of the night and no one in the 13-year history of the Football League Cup has ever scored that many goals in one match. And what a way to claim the record! That was a beauty! And it comes in the very last... There's the final whistle that will go down in the history book for Frankie Bunn. Six goals out of Oldham seven. He goes off to a standing ovation. Poor old Scarborough on the night just couldn't cope with this man. 
He'll keep that match ball, you can be sure of that. That's one to tell the grandparents about. A fantastic performance by Bunn and by the whole Oldham team. Credit to Scarborough, they kept playing football. They were hopelessly out of their depth in the end. They couldn't cope with the Oldham team or the pitch. Their dream is over. No one will fancy coming to Oldham in the next round, particularly with this man, Frankie Bunn, around. That was the sixth. Oldham Athletic, seven, Scarborough nil. The final score on a remarkable night at Boundary Park. Frank, how do you begin to describe a performance like that? I can't really believe it. It hasn't sunk in yet. So uh, it's just nice to score the first one. But after that, I just kept uh, tucking the chances away. So in the end, it was a great delight to get six. What's the most number of goals you ever scored before in one game in professional football? Well, a pre-season friendly, I got three. Uh, the most is two in a competitive game. Now, we had to look up the record books at half-time when you were on five. I wonder, did you know that one more goal in the second half would bring you uh, a record for the competition? No, nobody said, so um, just come out and try and do it all over again, like. We were just trying to keep them out of the game, like five minutes, we've been known to concede a few goals, go a bit lackadaisical. So it was nice to uh, score them extra to put our uh, through to the next round like so. So when that 6-1 went in you didn't realise that you'd made a record? No, I had no idea at all. No. So when did you find out then? Uh, some of the lads said uh, at, at the end of the game when I was in the bath that it was a record so. A bit mean of Andy Ritchie to go and score the best goal of the game though, wasn't it? Or don't you agree? Yeah, it took it away well. Good player, uh, Stitch. He's, uh, I think he's got about eight goals, nine goals now. So he's been playing well. Was it just one of those nights, you know, when everything you hit was finding the net? Yeah. How do you explain it? Well, I don't think you can. I was lucky enough to be in the right place at the right time, and it was all down to the lads creating the, the chances. I was just there to put them away, really. That'll take some topping in the next round, won't it, that performance? Yeah, I think it will. Uh, I can't see it happening again. I think it's just a one-off. You've got to keep the match ball, I assume. Oh, yeah, treasure. Well, grandparents are a long way off, but I would think that's something you'll show them. Yeah, it'd be nice to get the video as well, so... Never know. Fantastic. And you end up with your name in lights. Yeah, can't be bad. Well done. Great Cheers, night for you. you.